Team PS1, welcome to India today. Thank you. Thank you. This is truly exciting because I've been mind blown by whatever I've seen so far. Thank you. Right from the standees to the intricate details on what I see on the standees to the teasers to the trailers to all the conversations that you guys have been having. I did a little bit of reading up before I came. I thought I should read up before right. I come and right. have this conversation. It helps, right? For me also. I was shocked to know that there is such little information that we have on the Chola dynasty. And it has taken us so long to discover this dynasty and also explore these people who have been a, who are a part of our history and a part of our legacy. I was I was just curious to know why did it take us so long? Was that a question also crossed which crossed your mind while making the film? Why has it taken us so long to discover this dynasty? Not really. I think that came much later. Hmm. For me, it was more about the film and my character and working with these fabulous people and hmm. working with Mani sir I mean, yes. predominantly with the team. Like when you work with him, you usually get the best team. That's out there and uh, that was what was like you know charging me later after we started doing the film and then then we got into research and we read all about it and i mean we've heard about it. i mean in, in south india obviously we're all aware of what the cholas have done then it's only after that then because we are so caught up in this you know so after that when you think about it and you feel good that you're out there and you're like a spokesperson actually yes. talking to maybe the rest of india and telling them yeah. See, this is what happened it's happening all over india but in the south too we have all this happening right we've had these mainstream hindi films depicting mughals or we've had these stories surrounding them and their history why has it taken us so long to sort of get back into our own culture our own heritage and weave stories ravi i want to speak to you about that what are your thoughts on that see basically cinema is a medium which looks for stories and we have great stories mm. this is one such story mm. so um, it's it's a pride for our indian cinema that this thing is coming out hmm. and i don't think it is coming out today or tomorrow whenever i'm happy that it is coming out so yeah. i think it's high time it comes <laughs> out <laughs> yeah yeah so we are all Absolutely. happy about it and uh, uh, somehow we have been chosen for this and this team is so happy about it uh, let's see it in a very positive way that yes. this is coming out now at yes. the right time and with the right spirit with the right cast and so <laughs> yeah you are sort of the brand ambassadors yes sobita no to your question it made me think of what does it mean when you say our history british uh, presence in india is also our history right um, the cholas or the pallavas or whoever like much much like earlier yes. is also our history the mm. moguls is also our history india mm. constantly has had a foreign presence mm. or like a constant shift in the in the ruling rulers mm. So I don't. I it, it's difficult to draw a line as to You're what right. is ours and what isn't. Right. During the Chola rule, Indonesia too comes under ours, but it's obviously a very separate nation now. Mm -hmm. So I think borders are porous, and yes. history has proved that uh, stories that so that become immortal mm -hmm. are stories that must be taken forward and celebrated. And I think this is one such story. I want to also speak to you, uh, Karthi and Vikram sir, about Mani sir. I met him yesterday, and you know, every time you talk to him about his work, his eyes light up, <laughs> and that has not changed ever since we've seen the magic of Mani sir. What did you discover about him during the making of PS One? Because you worked with him in the past, right? What side of him did you discover? If I could start with you, simple thing is when you speak about him, our light, eyes light up. So, I mean, that's what he is to all of us. I, for me, on a personal level, I. I've always wanted to work with him even before I came into movies, and I I love cinema always, but I've loved his films the most. And my first song that I even started singing on my own, like as in when I started singing, was his movies. And the the first movie that I really loved was again his movie, and he brought a very different flavor to South Indian cinema, and in fact, a national cinema to the way his movies were being made. So since I've been following him, I've always wanted to work with him, and. So when I finally got to work in Ravanan and again in this, it's like it's just a dream come true twice, and I I couldn't you know ask for more. Correct me if I'm wrong. Were you uh, also supposed to be a part of Bombay? I was supposed to be, uh, do uh, do Arvind Sami's role. Yeah, yeah, but then fate. <laughs> but it, never too late. I still got to do Ravanan, and I think I've I've done lots of, lots of really interesting characters. I think Ravanan is one of my best performances, and yes. I love doing that because it, there were so many shades and. it was gray and i mean we we could experiment and since i had these 10 characters or 10 heads it was lovely working with manisha because each time we did a scene he would always ask me to experiment with each you know right. head or person yes. and that was the most beautiful thing about that film and 
most beautiful thing about working with him. It was like for me, it was like a workshop. I was, I'm just like a student when I work with him. It's like okay, you have so much to learn, not yeah. just about the acting, even yes. the scenes, how he yes. conceptualizes them, how he executes them, how he talks to the DOP. I've never seen anybody speak. I've worked with like the best of directors. It's always like okay, let's go for mid shot. Mm. Can you go for a crane and then we'll just go and down, or you just use it, Jimmy, or whatever. But he's like. He will talk in emotion. He'll he'll come and say, "Okay, I want like specifically." I remember that scene where Aishwarya is there, and I walk and I come running up and I, I, the, towards the yes. climax. And I followed him as he was explaining. So he says, "Santosh, as we walk and you feel the chill, and she's there and she's alone, and then you know she's looking around and she's lost, and then you have this gust of wind, and then you notice there's something there, and then he's there and he sees this, and it's so cool. And she's there and he, you know, the way he, yeah. that's the shot he described. And so he left Santosh like, just like." When he talks to about acting, he he won't tell us what to do. Right. He'll explain the emotion like that. He was doing that even with the DOP. So wow. everything about and then what he does with the design, what he does Absolutely. with editing, what he does with framing, it's beautiful. And to think that he's seventy plus, whatever, and he's is he isn't he or he's sixty, fifty, twenty, thirty. Sixty. He's ageless in his he, love for He's cinema. ageless. Okay, he's, I did that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just turned sixteen. Whatever, sixty. Okay. The thing is, whatever. His energy and what his He's wanting to do something different. He's mm. wanting to. It, every film of his is his first film. It's like that. That is something we all want to emulate. That's something we all want to do in whatever profession we are in. I'm sorry, it took so long, but you can't no, no, put it all course. in a nutshell for him. Absolutely. I mean, there is no enough time to describe. Yeah, and I was just a fanboy speaking. And you gave us a glimpse of how it would be for, to yeah. be on a set on a Malayalam yeah, film, which is so it's, great. It's something else. Yeah. Something else. Karthi, as a mentor, what is it that you've taken from him? What has he added to your performance? See, he's given me a lot of clarity on what I want to do. You know, he would say, you know, just because something is working, something is successful, you cannot just do it. Mm. It has to come from within. So you better do stuff which makes you happy. Mm. In 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 matter of choice of scripts and choice mm. of films, that gave me a lot of clarity. That you don't have to jump. You know, not every film has to be successful. You know, not looking at what is a success, but rather. Trying to do a product which is gives you happiness, right. which becomes art, and that's what becomes success also. You know, like how, what's your perspective towards doing a film? Mm. And with Mani sir in this film, what I see is that he's, he'll never say, never gives up. Right. He will never accept a no for an answer. Mm. It has to be done. It has to be done. Imagine for this film, he's been trying to make this for the last forty years. He's been trying to assemble it. It fizzles out. It assembles, fizzles out. Imagine for us in this generation, we don't even put ourselves through for more than six months. If it's not working, and you want to give up and throw away and go, True. great things doesn't come easy. You have to be ready for a very long grind. Mm -hmm. Only then you can achieve greatness. You know that's something which I felt while working on this film. And he says, don't think about what other people are talking about mm -hmm. you. Let them say good things or bad things. You know who you are. Trust in that and keep going. This is what, what I take insight. away from this film. That's yeah. a great yeah. insight to have as yeah. a mentor. Yeah. I mean, these are wise words for life, not just very for very cinema. important. Absolutely, absolutely. I think Trisha, your photos with Aishwarya have gone viral, and I think you've been asked about it <laughs> yes. a million times. Yeah. But I'm also very curious to know from you. Yeah. I was reading up a bit on how you guys sort of had this chemistry. You know, I mean, uh, how did it work out? Because you're not supposed to like her, and you he told you to stay away from her to get in character. As an actor, what was that experience like? I hope we were good actors on that front, <laughs> but no, no, that was actually Manisha said it in a lighter moment because we were being really noisy and yappy and talking, and it was a very important scene that day. So he was just laughing and passing by us, and he was like, "Listen, don't get too friendly because I need you guys to like dislike each other right now." So it was one of those things, and the selfie. I don't know these days what really goes viral. Some suddenly something's trending and going viral all over, and I'm wondering like, okay, I probably would have even done that two years ago. Why didn't it go viral then? I think it's also the the buzz and the positivity around the film yes. that's I think very high. To be very honest, I'm I'm very proud. Many things are trending and going viral, and it's created such a good buzz for the film. I'm also very curious to know from both of you. Uh, my first impression when I look at the film and your characters is obviously the intricate detailing of everything from your hairdo to to everything, the accessories, what you're wearing, right? <laughs> when you sit on that set and you have hours and hours of hair and makeup and all of these things to do, yeah. how do you spend time? I'm just curious to know how. What do you do? Are you on the phone or are you just like? You, there's no time. This is a multi-star. That's the best part about this film. Had this been a film where I didn't have these people around me, 
it would have probably been tougher. Of course. Right? Of course. So this was fun. Yeah. Like maybe her ears were bleeding and my arm was scratched, but we would chat in between shots and, and the same with each of us. So yeah. we didn't feel the pain of wow. it at all. So I think when people paint a picture of an actress getting ready, I think they imagine her just sitting back, sipping on some cola. The and there's like a village of people working around us. I don't think it's That's so pleasant. No, but it's all right. The village of people around us is tr is a true story, <laughs> but yeah. it's not as Fun pleasant as yeah. Because yeah. every time you bump into her room, she'll look different. <laughs> yeah. She'll be halfway through. Yeah. She'll say, Don't come inside. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. she has such a big hair, yes. it just go over yeah. her head. It was people fun. used to, you know, it's catch it for her. If I had to ask you, if you get a chance, when you have a film like this, right? If you had to take something home from the film, something you've worn or a part of your ensemble or something on the set, what memor memorabilia would you take from PS1 as a memory? Can we take someone else's too? Yes, <laughs> I'd like his crown. Oh! <laughs> it was real you gold it, and it was real diamonds and it was all... And he didn't get to wear it anyway. Was, so, <laughs> just that. I want to take Mani sir home. Yeah. <laughs> what better thing to take? <laughs> Good one. We, I love the jewelry, but we we aren't allowed to take them. <laughs> they're all original. Yeah, they're all original. Yeah. Some of the the so basically all my costumes were made from saris. Right. I would love to take some of the fabric back home. It's wow. beautiful. You, I mean, you guys would know once you see the film. Yeah. So much that's I gone into it. I have taken like money. So I would work like do some homework on some sides scenes for the day, like rough work. So I had taken those home. I just oh. wanted to have his handwriting. Oh, wow. Nice. It's a bit psychotic if you think of it, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've taken it now, there's no going back, and that's for yeah. that's for a lifetime. Yeah. To you were searching for that third scene, no? That <laughs> Remember? See, so I was missing this Mike. <laughs> we lost half a day because of my dialogues. <laughs> you know who's a culprit. I'm also very curious to know. Um, as actors, right? And now there is so much speak, uh, talk about social media. That's another way of promoting a film. You connect with your fans directly. You don't have a barrier. You can directly sense what they are expecting from you. What do you make of this noise that social media is also a factor that can contribute to whether you are watching a film or not watching a film? What do you make of that noise, that whole chatter? A lot. Actually. Yeah, I think it's all good because if your film is good, yeah. it's automatically going to get hmm. received. But the thing is, what is nice about social media right now, I feel is... Initially, we had this headache of posters and hoardings. And I remember when Aparajit was released, Aparajit? Aparajit? We had about 62 hoardings all over Chennai. Mm. So the producer would go say, okay, this whole building, I, I want this. I want. And then they had brought this rule where they said, you can't have hoardings anymore. Mm. And we didn't know what to do. What do you do? And you can't put posters out. Yes. We were lost. Now you, you just have to put out a first look. It's already viral. Like we've actually started promotions only now. Yes. People are asking us, when are you going to start? And what about North India? Blah, blah. But the thing is, because of social media, in just a few days, it's all yeah. over the place. It, it depends on how you do it and also the energy that the film has. Yeah. So it depends on that. But of course, if you make a film that's not very good, and mm. then you're going to invite a lot of negative criticism, which mm. I guess. And of course, reviews do affect our films. Definitely does. Mm. I guess just put your best foot forward and try to do good stuff. I mean, yeah. there's a good and a bad side to everything. So we... Just yeah. At the good no, side for example, the trailer of the film. Yes. When you go to somewhere remote place in India, they have already seen the trailer of this film. Yeah. yeah. Imagine earlier you have to reach out to them physically. It's literally you can't play on television or in yeah. theater. Now because of the mobile phones, they get to see it even if they are working somewhere in the yeah. mountains. They yeah. know this film is coming out. Yeah. And you need to have a thing. very big budget film to have a trailer in the theater. Yeah. Yes. And they can't do all the It'll only be yes. five. In yeah. Chennai, we'll have three. Three theaters written. Satyam, this is oh damn good, damn good. What about the other? No, we can't get it. Yeah. It's, it was that expensive, so yes. nobody will see it. The thing is that you can reach out to so many people. Like, Overnight. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Which wasn't possible before. Earlier. Yeah, yes. Yeah. That's true. And um, also just the fact that, you know, we are getting introduced to history. Uh, Bahuvali came and then that sort of opened up doors. Then that whole conversation happened about how this is the first. Yeah. And then films followed. Now our take and our way of looking at films has changed yeah. for sure, right? Uh, it's evolved. It's different. It's not been the same anymore. This whole conversation about pan-India has been going on for a very long time. And I think now uh, that term is also misused yeah. a lot. Yes. Um, just as, I'm not going to ask you any of those questions, but just as people who watch films also, you're also an audience, right? What is your take on this conversation that has been going on with regional cinema and then with North cinema and then with pan-India, all of these things? I, I think, see, our 
culture is like that our country is like that we have so many it's like i was just telling someone earlier mm. arabia is just one language one religion but it's so many countries but we are not like that mm. and forget about the many languages and cultures just go to tamil nadu mm. you have dialects and you have subcultures and like i wouldn't understand like his tamil where he comes from is little more difficult for me mm. and it's more beautiful mm. if you go a little further down you won't understand likewise in kerala right. i may know malayalam but if i go to trivandrum i won't have a clue i'll be clueless i may understand in cochin so there are dialects just in a state absolutely so when it's like that you obviously are going to have that kind of a disparity between uh, languages and states but this i love this the, the fact that till now till the pandemic happened we didn't have streaming platforms so people were not that exposed i mean we did have stray uh, films getting released in hindi or dub which may happen one year later or whatever hmm. but now you can actually if there is a see a malayalam market is such a small market yeah. but minal murli became such a huge, huge hit, hit because quickly it was on a streaming platform yeah. and you got it so i think that has opened doors to the extent that even me i for one i, I met a lot of people who say i'd rather watch a film with subtitles mm. than watch the dubbed version which mm. is such a beautiful thing mm. and i think yeah. bahubali has opened doors yes. for all of us for the largeness and not only that we able to make bigger films mm. we didn't have to look at hollywood and think guys you're spending so much on cg and mm. what do we do and i mean all the guys who do cg of course indians yes. but we don't get them in our films and they are very substandard but now you actually have you can have a budget you can work for that and you can you have a wider audience you have bigger projects and i think it's the best thing that's happened and there's nothing i mean pan india whether they abuse the term or not mm. i think it's come to stay and mm. it's like everybody will make films for a wider audience mm. when i first met i was just thinking only tamil nadu then andhra came and then malayalam and i was so happy but kannada no they don't do kannada films yeah. you know but now you can you just chill like minal i actually feel like uh, uh, a lot of films even regional films from the south uh, marathi films i mean so they've been dubbed in whatever languages so historically i feel like people have been used to watching f- regional films mm. like uh, and i think bahubali was not i don't know if that was the first time something came out and the the, the public in the north has been exposed to something like that but it became a very uh, it became the validation that one needed to officially take steps to make a film that caters to as many people as possible mm. but i do think that people in the north were consuming uh, content from the south mm. all along for mm. a very very long time but what used to happen is they would take our films and they'd remake it yeah like a lot of my films like i'll always be like even telugu that used to happen then slowly hindi like so many like say the what a lot of my films like you know, they like they were remade instead of you know so you always feel what if that those films had been you know yeah. Yeah. Uh, if we had had a market like this yeah yeah that's an interesting thought because obviously that you start thinking on those lines yeah. now and it's a it's like a open you'll be wondering i used to think should i should tell the producer not to give rights away but now i'm thinking okay i have to tell the producer not to you know release it i mean uh, sell off the rights and what you know you keep thinking it's you think of a wider audience now yeah so really so, and also i mean this is serious business what you guys do when the camera goes on and you have money sir at the back of it mm-hmm. uh, but when the camera is off and you guys have been together for quite some time now and you sort of you know know each other well i'm just curious to know uh, what were some of the fun memories that you had off camera when you are in costume and you're like looking at each other like you said like she looks so different from the time she sat on that chair to the time she came off that chair right from, her, <laughs> from the, le- the height of her hair to how different she looked you were transported to a different time altogether literally right when you see each other yeah. what was that like uh, karti if you want to take like, this there was one day where the entire cast was present and i had to go for the loop if i had to walk and come back it would probably take me 30 minutes so i just picked up a scooter and i went you should have seen people looking at me like that is this is this attire and i'm going i think i was the most person photographed on that particular day this <laughs> a simple thing like that you know would just crack up so many people because you saw the, the what the period that manisha tried to create was so original all around that anything then a cell phone coming inside a frame like what they did they had a selfie they like what's happening man you know you can really throw you off for a yeah. second and you wondering what's happening there and uh, manisha would always keep cracking jokes yeah for a man who is so serious about his work yes. you don't know when a one liner is coming from him <laughs> like for for example when we were on shooting you want to say that yeah. <laughs> no actually he was getting on the elephant huh. and uh, this character rajaraja chola had his connect with an elephant where mm. he would talk to the elephant he knows the language of the elephant mm. all the mahots knew, knew it 
So this short where he had to say something to the elephant and um, Manisha said, what are you going to say? He said, sir, I'll say something. It's a silent shot. I'll say something. No, no, say the film has to get over very soon. <laughs> 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 he would always come up with something you know, totally unexpected. Because uh, it was COVID time. We were trying to finish yes. the film. All our dates are getting stretched. And Manisha had this thing to say, no? tell the elephant that the film has to get over soon. <laughs> and he actually said that on the camera. Probably if you zoom in, you can figure out. <laughs> no, 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 I covered it. Like you didn't say it. <laughs> no, I, I had a serious to get the you know, thing too. What happened is the first time I, I came for the shoot, it was like height of the pandemic and the lockdown and stuff. And we were actually, all of us had to be checked and mm. we were in a bubble. We were like that. So I walked in and I was like, I, I hadn't uh, got into that. My shooting was the next day. So I, as I walk in, I see all these people getting ready and I see all of them in their regalia. They're like that. I walk in and then I was shocked because inside it's a huge set with pillars and blah, blah, blah. And it's 9th century. But everyone was in PP with glasses and so it looked like a lab. It was so surrealistic because I was just, and there were about, a, like everybody in the unit, right. about 200 people, all in white with shoes and I mean with the, <laughs> the caps and I couldn't, and I didn't know any, like I met some of them later, I couldn't recognize them. Right. Because I've got used to seeing them in Absolutely. white. So that was very weird. Like. Yeah. Risha, what was it like for you to physically completely transform, look-wise transform? What was that like? So like what are the funny stories you have on that? Lots of funny <laughs> stories. But we had a lot of prep time yeah. to get into the character, right? Because that's how Manisa works for any film, mm. actually. He believes in a lot of homework, mm. however prominent your role is or whatever character you're playing. So, um, like, since we had... And actually, even during the pandemic, he was continuously working, running us by looks, what work. So there were like about five look tests with about 100 looks we did and then which were shortlisted to 50, 25, 20, 10 and then he chose the best 10. Yes. So since we had this much of homework yeah. and even with hair, even with makeup, with everything. So uh, it was a process but I would not call it very difficult because when you start from the top and mm. you know you do step one, two, three, you kind of start enjoying it. And when the final product, what is the final product? Getting on set and delivering your dialogues. It was fairly simpler. I mean, had we not had this much of prep time, mm. oh my God, this would have been an ordeal because everything would have been very alien and new True. to us. Yeah. yeah, You got that prep time, which obviously made things... Absolutely. Sort of but then I've done a film with Manisa even a decade and a half ago. Mm. It was equal amount of prep time even for that. So that's how Manisa functions. He believes in that, that when an artist comes on set, mm. you have to be thorough. So that, that was why I think there was zero insecurity on set or no one had any issues yeah. of course it was difficult because getting into costume and physically being there is a bit of a challenge yeah. but otherwise he he instills that confidence in you you know he gives he just he just loads you with it that when you go there you're like nice and full of confidence yeah hmm. when the film hits theaters who amongst you is the most likely to sort of be the first one to jump on and start sharing all the buzz on it. Like, these are the numbers, this is the reaction, this is what it's doing. Numbers, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, anything. Anything to do with numbers, pictures, mood. Yeah. She'll be, after this interview, she'll be one, sharing right? a selfie with you. <laughs> <laughs> or someone else will be sharing a selfie. Yeah, I, I, I She's love totally it. into she loves it. See, She's when there's something rude. positive, I, I just love to, I revel in it. So... <laughs> No, because obviously it's like letting go, right? Now it's up to but the you audience. Know the funny thing is, most people complain I'm not active on social media. Yeah. But for this film, somehow the buzz is so positive. That's what I was just telling them yesterday. It's not that I'm like on social media. There have been so many complaints about why you're not seen enough. Yeah. But the buzz is so positive around this. Yeah. And I don't mean just from the audience, also amongst ourselves. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I've also not been like last four or five yeah, years. Yeah, none of them have actually but been. Suddenly, I'm going to be the first, right, for all of you to sort of experience that, and for fans to also get a glimpse yeah. of. Yeah, we've been sharing so much so of much. nothing. Yeah. Also, <laughs> it's not anything significant. Something just walking. Just walking. Yeah, and like, it's just nice. Like at home, my folks are saying, "What's wrong?" With you? <laughs> <laughs> just walking. Why do you put that up? Tell me. Nice. <laughs> no, but. Uh, I mean, on a parting note, I think PS1 is something that everybody is excited for. So much of hard work, so much of dedication, every intricate detail, even the, you know, every small thing, the engraving on that has been done to the T. And that's what Manisa told me. So much of research has gone. It's going to be a treat for all of us. Absolute honor to also watch this film. And I wish you guys all the very best. Thank you. And so I much. hope that we connect post-release to sort of see yes. the joy and excitement on all your faces. Absolutely. And you're doing amazing uh, in general. So thank you so much and for sharing. Before you finish, uh, I'd, I'd, on behalf of everyone, I'd like to thank uh, India Today for what you guys are doing. They've been uh, putting out some 
we've right. been sort yeah. of giving a glimpse of the film for the last one week on each character yeah. and in all languages actually wow. every yeah. character they've been giving Sweet. teasers yeah. trailers they've been giving yeah. descriptions yeah. i think thank it's you. important for people to also that is wonderful yeah, that is thank cool. you no, so much we also much. want to personally thank people in the north you know, so many brothers and sisters yes, here yes. they're sending so, us so much love online so welcoming yeah. yes. yeah. we've been blessed and we're so thankful this time that you know happy this time that we are bringing something big to offer them you know yes. they've been giving yeah. us so much love so and much. this is you know they've taken so much care yeah. in keeping it right like a proper hindi film yeah. because yes. they've been it's watching true. films which we have been doing in south but Absolutely. now it's become all over the, yeah. the boundaries are broken and yeah. because we have something so big to offer we're so proud and i'm hoping they'll also feel proud about us it's like for festivals If you're Gucci, you you go give something. <laughs> yeah, It's like that yeah. from the south. We got this platter full of delicacies, and, and we want to share, <laughs> share it with you. We're all up for grabbing and, it. Yeah. You're waiting. And that's our way of saying thanks it. for all the love. <laughs> But thank you for a lovely thank session. Thank you so much. Really thank enjoyed. You. Thanks a lot. Thank you so thank much, you guys. So all much. the very best. Thank, thank you guys very so much. much.